So anyway, what started it is we were tying very simple patterns. And, and believe you me, this worked out very well for a long time. Let me grab some thread here. All right. Oh, there we go. Now, the, the pattern is, is incredibly simple. Um, um, now, what, I, what we did is that because these were beaver dam complexes and they were, they were uh, relatively thin water, and uh, as well as that, very clear, um, we ended up, ended up uh, very lately waiting or not waiting our flies at all. But we used to lay them on a couple of turns of lead wire, about like that, and that's about it. Yeah. And we would just put a little lead on it, and then of course um, make it nice and pretty and, and uh, balance it out in the middle. Oop. There we go. Nothing to it. Okay, now, during the same time, we recognized that, that hackle was kind of a critical importance that we not, uh, not over hackle these things. Because, uh, these, like I said, these brown trout, after we'd caught them, well, I suspect some of those guys were caught as many as five or six times during the summer. Um, we were into hen hackle. Now, most of you folks have never seen anything quite that shabby. I mean, you guys of today's world have no idea the crap hackle that we grew up with. And, and this one here, as you can see, has been well picked in the center. Now, these were a hen hackle, and I acquired them from, from Kaufman's, who were at that time in, uh, in Oregon. And uh, we use them. That's what we generally use. That one there is the point I can't even use anymore. Um, but we, what happened is that the hen hackle that, that Kaufman's had, uh, we could buy the hand hackle from them, and we used to get packs of 10 of them for uh, about $10 or $8, something like that. So that's what we use for the flies. So I'll sort through this, and I'm in a pluck a hand hackle out of there, the industry. And you can see it's, it's pretty webby and pretty awful looking. Anyway, then what we do is there's a little bit of, of hackle on the tail. Uh, and again, nothing exotic. Now, the most fish this ever caught for me in a single day, uh, I was, at that time the crow's nest was, was fishing pretty well. And, and my wife Sandy had a friend up in, uh, in Colm or Blairmore. Uh, that's where Meryl lived in Blairmore, wasn't it, Sandy? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, she, Sandy dropped me off at uh, the, uh, the west or east Hillcrest Bridge, and I walked downstream down the rail line. And fish my way back, and you see, there's. I'm, we're not going to put a lot of uh, material on there for a tail. You know, I walk downstream about I don't know, probably a half a mile, and fish my way back. In five hours, I landed a hundred trout. Now, there's probably not a lot, and and I used to count fish that day, so I, I know damn right well it was a hundred. I actually landed. I was fishing two of these flies at a time, and I actually landed two doubles. Uh, Again, there's not many guys get doubles. I, I get doubles occasionally when I'm lake fishing with condiments, but uh, I haven't caught very many doubles on uh, on nymphs or flies in the river. I've caught them on a prairie creek occasionally. Got a couple of doubles on browns there. Now, what I did is I waxed. I don't know whether you guys are aware of this stuff or not. Uh, Orbison's Wonder Wax. Uh, this one here, as you can see, is mostly gone. As compared, I have a new one over here uh, that I got just before Orbington himself uh, no longer was building it. Now, I understand he's, he's one of his relatives, I think it's a son, is now starting to make it. They used to build the stuff in their basement on a piece of plywood and then heat it up upstairs on the stove and pour it in the containers. So what I did is I cut off a little bit of marabou. I'm just going to dub it on. It's, and this is, this is one of the simplest flies you'll ever see. And, but one of the things about it is that because it's all marabou, first thing is uh, it catches a pile of fish, guys. It really does. I, and I've been using this thing on lakes and streams now for, I don't know, real close to 50 years. 
and uh, and it really works well. Now, all I'm going to do is just rough dub it, and I'm not even going to get all that careful about it. John, for those that never fished rotary, you have no idea how long it took me to, to get away from using uh, or using how long it took me to adapt to the water the rotary function on the on the. Uh, Don, you caught the you caught the uh, some the thread on the hook point there. Did I? Thanks, Mike. I can't see down here. But, well, yeah, you can see it. I can. Thank you. We'll fix that up. All right. And what we're going to do, the nice thing about Maribel, you can do anything you want with it. There, you'll never even know what happens. And neither will a fish. Now, what I do is I just trim that a little bit. Yeah, it's a, like it's a very simple fly to tie. Now, having said that, it's a simple fly to tie, right? Um, as time went along, of course, other people I fished with it used a lot. Um, Barry Mitchell, I uh, used to use it, even though he hated nymph fishing. Uh, he would use it uh, and uh, on, under a barber if he had to. And uh, Dean Baines, who wrote about the... Uh, the catatonic leech uh, developed the technique after fishing this fly for so then Dean and I used to fish it a lot when he was a young man in, in here and then through high school. I'm looking for a, a oh there they are. Okay, and I just tied it in. What I'm gonna do is just no, I, yeah, yeah, thank you. What? What did I do? It was blocking the view. Oh, we don't want to do that. No. And you can no. And you can see this is pretty rough. But like I said, it's when Mike said he had to tie this thing, I thought, you know, as compared to the flies of today that have creaky little pieces and all kinds of junk hanging off them, this is pretty simple. Yeah, it uh like I said, that's it. I mean it's there's nothing exotic. Oh, where's my little picture? Yeah. That's uh that's very simple to, to play with. There you go. That's how fast it's done. And I don't know, it's like those <coughs> things you can tie them any weight you want. Um for lake fish, and I often tie them more robust than that. 